In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the second Sunday of Amshir. We, we, normally, this is the first because last week was supposed to be the fifth Sunday of Tuba, but we prayed the first Sunday of Amshir, and today we're praying the second Sunday of Amshir. Uh, and this reading is from the book of St. John, chapter 6, verses 5 through 14, and it's about the feeding the multitude. Sometimes we name it. But feeding the multitude or the, 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 the Sunday of the blessings, actually we can name it of the um, Sunday of creation because our Lord Jesus Christ, he started with something as little or as small as five barley loaves and two fish and he ended up with more than what he started with. So there's creation. God created from the same material, from the same essence of bread and fish, more to feed 5,000 men, not including women and children. And the leftover was more than the five loaves and two fish. This is his creation. He created it. But we learned today also that there was a problem. And our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to share, to gather or to test Philip. He started with Philip. What should we do? Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? He wanted to test him. But Philip said 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that everyone may they have a, just a little. So there was a problem, how to feed all these people. So many times, even in church, we come and, and face problems of maybe a limited space. We can't uh, seat people, enough people. Or maybe we could not feed all these people. Many times. But our Lord Jesus Christ, when he brings the problem, he's ready to provide the solution. Then one of his disciples, that's Andrew, he said, he, he, actually this is not a solution that Andrew provided he was saying, there is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? See, he wanted to make it an impossible. Send the multitude away. That's the solution they came up with. Another reading, another gospel, because this is repeated in four gospels. So the, their solution was to send them away. That's our solution. Because... It's impossible to feed them. Yes, we have so many, um, so much or so problems that we cannot solve. So the, our solution is to, to run away, to send them away, send the multitudes away. But our Lord Jesus Christ said, even those five barley loaves and two fish, just to bring them to me. Our Lord Jesus Christ wants the, 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 the little that we have so he may bless it. Many times we want to give God and maybe we're out of work or something and we have small things that we cannot even, it's not if sufficient for us. But the Lord said, just give, give me and I will bless it for you. Not only blessing, I will make it to, 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 to have an abundance to you. So that's what happened. They gave him the, the five loaves and two fish, and everybody ate. After our, our Lord Jesus Christ, we learned also how he uh, gave thanks and asked the people, his disciples, to make people sit down in groups of 50 and started giving the multitude. And not only that, in the end of this miracle, he said, go gather the fragments. 
gathered the fragments and they collect 12 baskets sharing don't think that when I have much I will give no give what what you have one time this lady in Egypt she was receiving help from the church a very small amount it was 50 cents uh, a month which is nothing and she one, one time went to the office to receive her uh, monthly help and she asked for um, the deacon to tell Abuna to come and visit her he looked at her you wanted Abuna to come visit you Hadr Maybe the following month, she came again and she said, Abuna didn't come. Can you ask him, please? So he told Abuna, There's a, this lady, she wants you to go visit her. But she's one of the uh, any poor people that we help her here from the church with 50 cents or 50 irsh every month. He said, yes, give me the, uh, her address. And Abuna went. He started looking for her in very narrow streets, in parts of Alexandria, very narrow, very poor area. And while he was going to, to look for this lady, he found a man sitting in his, the door of his house, a very small, tiny house, open, and he saw Abuna, Abuna passing by and asking for this lady. And he said, Assalamu Abuna, tfaddal, come, come in, Abuna. He said, uh, okay, let's ask him about this lady. Do you know where this lady lives? I, I to he told him, yes, I know, I know. Just come and bless me first. Come sit, sit with me. Abuna told him, why don't I see you in, uh, in a church? You don't look familiar to me, I don't see you. He said, Abuna, I am a disa I'm, I'm disabled, I cannot walk. And... Uh, I'm here as you see me. I have no one. I have no family. But I want to tell you something. But she told me not to tell you or to tell anybody. There's a lady that you're coming, that you're asking for this lady to, you, you want to visit. She's taking care of me. She helped me. She even gave me money every month from her, whatever help she receives from the church. She gave me half of it. I received 25 cents a month from this lady. Abuna was kind of amazed that she, she never mentioned that she's helping someone else. She never mentioned that she's splitting her money with someone else. Or she never mentioned that she needs more because she's helping someone. So this lady was helping from the help she receives. She never looked at it as it's in a only yani hardly enough for me or I can't survive with this 50 cents she was helping the man and she's splitting her help with this uh, elderly man as well so we can't say it's, it's small so when Andrew came and said we have a lad here who have five loaves and two fish it was a kind of it's impossible that's all what we have but what we have if you put it in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ, is more than enough. He will bless it. He will bless it. And not only bless it, you, had, you will have a leftover, something to, to remember. Every disciple carried one basket. So every disciple would remember this miracle. This miracle was mentioned in all four Gospels. This miracle... We didn't see the Jews didn't agree, but rather, every time they see Jesus raising up from the dead, even, even uh, Zaki, uh, um, uh, uh, Lazarus from the dead, they wanted to kill Jesus and wanted to kill Lazarus. But this miracle, the last verse we read today, then those men, when they had seen the sign that Jesus did, said, this is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. They don't ever said this verse, or this is truly the prophet who is to come into the world when he raised Lazarus. They didn't say this when he um, uh, raised up the, the, the uh, daughter of um, 
Jairus, or the son of the widow, or making uh, uh, water into wine, or he walked in, on water, or uh, opened the blind's eye. He never, he never, they never accepted him as a prophet or the Messiah. But in the feeding of the mother of blessing or making the, the bread and fish enough to feed 5,000 people, they saw him as God. Creation. They saw him, he has the power to create. To create. This is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. Rabbina Adina Ahabbay, and we are always <laughs> living in the من منبصش على أي حاجة نقول دي قليلة ما فيش حاجة اسمها قليلة مع ربنا ربنا إله المستحيلات إله البر البركات إزاي نبدأ بخمس أرغفة وسمكتين وننتهي باتناشر أوفة بعد ما يأكل خمس تلاف إزاي حسابيا it's impossible to sit and calculate how how this happens إزاي تبدأ ب ب ب ب بحاجة صغيرة وتنتهي بحاجة كبيرة ده المستحيل ده المعجزة دي الخلقة اللي احنا شفناها النهاردة ربنا يبارك في كل عمل اي انسان عنده موهبة صغيرة ما يقولش يا it's meaningless this gift that I have or, uh, or talent that I have is meaningless it's very small there's no need for it no there is need for it with God every talent you have every gift you have you serve with it will grow and multiply don't look down at yourself. Don't underestimate the power of God when you allow Him to work through you. And glory be to God forever and ever.